Hello everybody. In this video, along with the next one, we're going to look through the types of prehistoric fossilized animals and plants found in each country of the Balkan Peninsula. Each country in the Balkan Peninsula will be revealed in each, separate video, unless of course, I don't find much information on one of them so I have to resort to putting two or more nations in it, in order to make the video longer. Each nation of this peninsula will be revealed in an alphabetical order, which means that this video is going to cover Albania. Enjoy the video, Albania, just as most countries in the Balkan Peninsula are, is found in southeastern Europe. This particular nation has got a coastline as well, which a fun fact about it, is some few kilometers longer than Bulgaria's, despite the massive difference of shape and overall territories between the two states. The flag of Albania has got a red background, and a black eagle drawn on it, and the Albanian language does not belong to any other common group, like the Greek language, for example, even though both of them are of Indo-European origin. So, the topic of this video, what fossils can be found in Albania? Well, once we open the Wikipedia page for this, we don't find much, just three types. These are Calpianella, Calpianellites, and Requienia, from two of which are extinct single celled organisms, and the last one I mentioned being an extinct type of saltwater clam. But outside of Wikipedia, what information can we find? Well, we first learned that there is a geological formation by the name Kalurchert in Albania, where fossils from the late Bajokian, a period during the Middle Jurassic, until around 10 to 15 million years later. We also find out about two other formations bearing the names Vigla and Hanbilag. The Kalurchert and the Hanbilag formation are found around the middle from central to northern Albania, and the Vigla formations are in both southern Albania and northern Greece. So, with all these fossil sites in place, what overall fossils can we find there? Well, if we exclude the previously mentioned Calpianella, Calpianellites, and Requienia fossils, we can find Radiolaria type fossilized organisms. But what are those? Well, these are two, single celled organisms, with a diameter of 0.1 to 0.2 millimeters. I could go on and on about what they really are, but in short, because of what they simply are, and in what time frames they have been found in, we can conclude, that the ancient oceans have too, been inhabited by zooplankton-like organisms. Animals that feed on such things, such as today's whales, are called planktivores, and because of the fact that these radiolaria organisms have been present in these times in these places might point us to the conclusion, that not only was the whole, or at least much of Albania's territory submerged underwater, there have also been planktivores present there, such as the famous Pachycormidae. Pachycormidae were giant bony fish that fed on zooplankton and plankton as a whole all these years ago, and could reach up to 9 meters in length at max. As there have not been discovered fossils of such large fish in Albania, and knowing that the bigger an organism the more likely it is to fossilize, it's relatively safe to conclude that such animals were present in Jurassic Cretaceous Albania, but were not of giant sizes, but as a fun fact, an ancient dinosaur by the name Zalmoxis Skyperorum was named for the Albanians. Keep in mind, that until and during the making of this video, paleontological studies in Albania are very, very limited, so we can only hope that the future shines more light on this country's geological past. Thanks for watching.